how many times have you read and reread Pathoma for the USMLE Step 1 and you still have difficulty remembering concepts or you still have difficulty building up concepts for the USMLE Step 1 exams? Are you someone who is now studying Pathoma? Are you someone who is thinking of studying Pathoma in the future? Or are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 in general? Pathoma is something you should consider. So, if you fall in any of these categories, in this video, um, I'll give you tips and insights about how to use Pathoma effectively, fast, and the smart way in order to improve your scores on the USMLE Step 1. You are welcome to the uh, USMLE Booster channel if you are a returning subscriber. Um, thank you for uh, coming to, uh, and um, watching this video. If you are also someone who is new to our channel, you are welcome to the USMLE Booster channel. And in this channel, we intend to um, help any average student maximize their score on the USMLE Step 1 by sharing our experience and uh, tips related to the exams. Um, so whilst many uh, medical schools uh, emphasize more on pathophysiology, uh, let's face it, we are all humans and we know that not everything sticks in our mind by the time we are ready to write the board exams. And that is true for a majority of medical uh, students. Now, step one uh, medic, uh, of the USMLE step one is made up of 45% pathology concepts alone. And so if you are able to make Pathoma your friend and you guys get along very well, that means that 45% of your uh, total marks is already almost guaranteed and you should be very confident going into the, the exams. Um, I am, what I want to say is that the tips that I am discussing are my independent thoughts and I have not been paid by anybody to promote any uh, study resource for the USMLE Step 1. These are my personal thoughts and things that I did that are very effective and that helped me and I wish to share with people. Um, the first thing I'll talk about is that you do not have to watch um, every Pathoma video because um, you have your strong areas already and then you also have your weak areas. The smartest way is to use Pathoma more for your weak areas. Now, if you are not someone uh, who has strong areas and then you think that you have to learn the whole uh, Pathoma book, then yes, indeed, um, it's um, it's very important you, you do so and then you have to um, add Pathoma to your schedule as early as possible. Uh, Pathoma has about 35 uh, hours of uh, didactic study time and you can um, include this in your schedule and uh, so you always look at Pathoma or you add Pathoma uh, to whatever you are doing and that is very um, helpful. Um, if you start doing Pathoma very early in your prep, um, it helps you by the time you do dedicated and you sit for the USMLE Step 1, all the concepts that he talks about, you'll be familiar with them and you'll be able to ace your exams. The second point is that when you are doing Pathoma, you want to focus more on the pathways. For example, um, hematology, the, um, the coagulation cascade, you have to master the whole pathway because you can get questions on any of the steps in the pathway. So think of pathways as something that is very, very important. Don't ignore them, master everything. And Pathoma does a very great job uh, explaining pathways and uh, if something is missing, if something is blocked, if a drug inhibits something, what is elevated and all those, things, you have to really understand it. So you have to understand pathways, some of the other pathways that you should focus on a day. Uh, the arachidonic acid pathway, uh, B and T cell pathways. Like um, you also have to look at wound healing, very important. C cancer uh, progression, very very important. Neutrophil migration. You can get about two questions on neutrophil migration alone. It's very important. NBME test highly on it. UL test highly on it. The um, step one exams test highly on it. And also Pathoma does a very great job on that particular topic. So you will learn more concepts if you master pathways very very important so take pathways very serious all the pathways um, dr satter 
um, talks very well about them so you want to take them very seriously the next is that you can watch uh, pathoma at an increased speed so um, depending on your level of uh, proficiency or your level of confidence you can decide to increase uh, uh, the, the video speed in order to suit what uh, you want specifically um, i would say you should do um, like harder harder blocks of your world um, at slower speed so that you can take time to really um, under, under, understand it. When I when I say harder blocks of U world, I mean when you are doing U world in conjunction with Pathoma. So um, when the block is very hard, like for example, if you take um, phys physio of hematology, it's very complex and it's very hard. So you want to add Pathoma alongside with uh, U world, and then, so when you learn Pathoma to build your knowledge, then you use the U world to um, recall the uh, information. From my personal experience, um, I will say that anytime I did Pathoma topic and then do U World questions, my scores on U World will be around 95%. So that is evidence based and it works very well. Pathoma does a very great job in that regard, in, uh, um, in explaining um, a lot of concepts. Next is that whilst um, you world questions enforce retrieval of um, information that you have learned pathoma does help you to refresh and relearn those information but then before you build concepts and recall them on you world you want to learn the concepts first so how do you learn the concept you want to use the pathoma to learn the concepts then you go to you world to retrieve them if you cannot retrieve you go back to pathoma and now find the reason why you were not able to retrieve those um, information personally um this is very important that i'm going to talk about People say that you should do the first three chapters of Pathoma when you are going to write your exams. But I will say first three chapters of Pathoma is the first thing that you should study when you start studying for the USMLE Step 1. I also say first four chapters, not first three chapters, because first four chapters includes hematology. So uh, for me, when I was studying, hematology was very difficult for me because it's very broad and rbc platelets and so on and so forth they are all very comp they were complex for me and then they were so broad so what i did was that i added that to the first three chapters and then they are highly tested you will test on it nbme will test on it and step one would also test on these first four chapters so what i will say that if you want to see an improvement in your u world scores you want to see an improvement in your nbme score and eventually see an improvement in your step one score then what you want to do is that um, just at the beginning of your studies you want to do the first four chapters of pathoma very very rapidly before start solving questions and then keep revisiting them over time say like every two months you want to do it so if, if you're studying for one year okay if your prep is one year and you keep revisiting the first four chapters of pathoma um, um like over time you'll realize that by the time you're ready for the usmle step one you would have known these things and you don't have to spend last minutes memorizing only the first three chapters so it's very important you you start with the first four chapters of pathoma very very important Next point is that watch Pathoma passively when doing certain things. For example, things that do not, um, that like, let's say you are driving. When I am driving to the grocery shop, I put in very short um, chapters. For example, um, skin, skin, dermatology was something that is very short in, is something that is very short in Pathoma. So if I put in dermatology, then I'll be listening whilst I am going, whilst I'm driving, and then by the time I come back, I would have listened to that. And that is passive. Even though it is passive, we will always retain some information. For example, if I'm watching a movie, you know, like when we are watching a movie, we don't like take it very serious, but of, like we are able to remember a lot of things. So 
if um, I'm driving and then I'm really not focused on studying and then like I'm not under any pressure, listening to Pathoma helps me to passively remember, um, like study, but I'm not going to remember everything 100%, but then it prepares your mind. It gets your mind ready for, for the future when you take that topic very serious. So when you're doing just driving or you're doing you're in the kitchen doing something just put in a pathoma and listen to it just like 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 a podcast for a certain simple topics and they all go a long way to 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 help another point is that you want to do flashcards from pathoma so when you are doing topics that are um, for example they are hard for you and you think that you may not be able to remember you want to include them in your personal flashcards. So add them to your Anki flashcards. And like what I did was like, I'll take a whole picture of the page or I'll take a whole picture of like, if it's an image from Pathoma, I'll take a picture of it and add it to my flashcard. And then if I have to um, have a particular way of explaining it, then I explain it in my own way. And or if I do an annotation, I take a picture of the annotation and then put it in my flashcards. So in future, I will see them in my flashcards. The next point is that take the images very, very serious. Pathoma images are high yield. At the beginning of your, of your prep, include recognition of images as part of your studies. Now, when you get to any Pathoma when you get to any pathoma uh, topic and you are doing the images look at nbme images as well which nbme images are on those topics you're doing on pathoma it, and that will help you to uh, holistically learn the images images form about 10 percent of the ul uh, of the usml step one exam so recognition of images will also help you to increase your scores the next point is that when you are doing NB, uh, sorry, if you are doing your uh, first aid and then you reach topics that Pathoma also treats, you want to do them hand in hand so that you can use Pathoma to complement this, um, the first aid or use first aid to complement Pathoma so that some topics, Pathoma talks about it, you will not find it in the first aid. Some topics also first aid will talk about it, you don't find it in the Pathoma. You, don't, you want to do all of them together. So use the books hand in hand. Don't do one and then go and do another one another time. So this brings us to the end of our uh, discussion for this video. And I hope that this, my quick guide to Pathoma is helpful to you. As always, uh, if you need any additional help, in preparing for the USMLE step one, you can um, go into some of my uh, my videos on my page is USMLE Booster channel, and watch some of them. Um, I have videos that I've talked about other resources as well, and then you can go and then look at it. I have videos that I've talked about how I managed to start from um, from. Uh, from like it, it was one fifty three, and then my final score, like how I progressed. And then I have like a comprehensive video on my progress throughout my studies. So thank you very much. Don't hesitate to email me. And I know you can do it. Once we have done it, you can also do it. Keep studying. Keep reading. Believe in your maker. Pray and you will do it. Finally, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so that you never lose my content. When you subscribe, it means that you have my con you have my my, my contents forever on saved to your um, your subscription and also you want to hit the bell so that anytime we post a new video you will be notified don't forget to share with your friends and just write a comment for us so that our videos get suggested to other people as well thank you and peace out